Hey everybody, it's DisneyBoy21 here and welcome back to another tutorial and today we're going to be restyling Lizzie Hearts. So today we are finally doing the hair restyle on Lizzie and sorry to keep you waiting because I know a lot of you guys have been asking for her restyle but I just wanted a few of the other doll reviews to go up first so please forgive me but don't fret because we're doing it today. So for this tutorial you're going to need a brush and a comb preferably with a little pointy end like this, a few hair clips, a pair of scissors, a little tiny spray bottle, a big bowl and a smaller bowl for the hot water, just a normal hair condition of any sort, several straws, both the big one and the small ones, and you might want to prepare a few of these tiny ones that are cut up in the middle like this because we're going to need to use them later so I think about 5 to 6 at most 10 should be enough. And finally lots of bobby pins. And please remember to ask for adult supervision or permission before you do this. So as usual, the first step before a restyle is to give your doll's hair a nice good hairbrush to get rid of all the tangles she might have in her hair. And uh, as I have said in my review for Lizzie, which you can go check it right now if you click on the annotation above you, she have pretty bad hair. So um, I would suggest that you be a little more careful when you're brushing her hair because um, I think it's inevitable that you will lose a few strands. So as you can see, it's kind of hard. You can wet the hair if you spray a little bit before you want to um, brush, you can do that as well. And one of the many things I love about Lizzie is the way her hair is styled. And I'm just really fascinated by the little heart bun that she has on the top of her head. So I thought it would be fun to show you guys what the bun looks like inside and how it's styled. Um, basically, her bun is all gelled and rolled up and nicely secured in the middle of a crown and after that there's a little rubber band inside the roll here gosh do I have to break it oh no it does come off really quickly um, it's all gelled and I'm gonna have to like roll down so there there is the mystery of the poof <laughs> um, I think she looks really cute I don't know for some reason she looks adorable like this next step is boil washing her hair but if you guys are new about the boil washing thing and you want to know how that works you can click on one of my earlier videos where I restyled Maddie alrighty so right now I'm gonna go wash her hair I'll go do that and be right back so see you then so we are back with Lizzie after boil washing her hair basically what I did is that I tried to section off the pieces that I want to curl later on so obviously that is her two fringe parts at the front these two pieces and then we have the two big ones for the bun secured right here and I separated out the red and the black and all that so that's why I've clipped them here so that they don't get mixed again and now let's take a look at a few of the reference pictures that we have here and um, there's the Amazon oh, so here is the official artwork so I'm pretty much basically gonna follow this one because I really really like that look and um, this is the webisode look and she just basically have wavy hair as well but really poofy unlike the promo pictures so I'm really trying to get that volumized poofy look. Obviously for the two fringe parts here, we're going to be using the finger wave method or the mermaid wave method that we used on Holly. And then for the two um, part buns, we're going to just use these big straws that we have here. And then we're just going to basically roll these little two pieces up. So the one I haven't decided is the back. We'll figure it as we go. <laughs> Alright, so right now we're going to start putting the curlers in her hair and we're going to start with the little two fringes here. So as we talked earlier, we're going to be using the finger wave curl method that I did. So if you guys have seen that video, it's going to be easy for you. But if you haven't, don't worry because I will still show you again how to do that. Or you can go check out that video as well. So you see that in here on the top, she does have kind of have this distinctively bigger wave than the rest of the hair. So. I am not sure how it's going to turn out, but I will try to use a big straw for that top part to see if we can get that kind of look. So all you need to do is put the first straw under like that. And then before you put any pins, what you need to do is um, get the next one, which is going to be the small one, and put it on top of it like this. And then for the pin, just take a pin and put it in between the two straws like this so it goes in easily like that and then you get another one 
and put it this time under it again so we go alternately one up one down one up one down like that and then you put another one in it like this mm -hmm. and you just go down like that alternately this one we're gonna put it on the top put the pin like this So keep doing that until the end and be sure remember to try to straighten out the straw as you go like if you see it from the side you want it to go as straight as you can so the hair is the one that kind of maneuver around the straws and that's what will get our wave look and we're also going to put another set of straws on this side as well to know the hair will be nice and tight inside and I forgot to tell you remember to spray your doll hairs with that little spray bottle too and wet it so it's easier to work with Alright, so now we're at the little bottom part right here, which is going to be the last piece for this set. So what we're going to do is you just get a straw and put it like normally you would do with everyone else on the top. And put in a pin. And then for this little part that's hanging out right here, we're going to use this piece of straw, which has been cut in the middle, like I will show you, like this. And we're going to use this as a coating for that one. So and to carefully secure that on top of that little piece and bam we have it all nice and secured in there and then once you're done just put a final pin on top to secure it right now this part is done and you do the same to this other part as well i will skip to that part and we'll be right back Alrighty, so right now we're done with the little fringe parts with the oversized um curler so it looks she looks so funny she's like she had blindfolds in front of her face She's like I don't want to see anybody so I'm gonna cover these up with my face <laughs> okay so now we're gonna move on to the little bun on top so I'm gonna adjust the camera so we can see better so <clears throat> so as we talked before we're gonna use the um, bigger straws these ones for the buns so make sure you get them ready and then we can start doing them and make them as flat as you can with your fingers like this so it's gonna be easier to roll them up and spritz Spritz, spritz, spritz. And before you start curling, don't try to make it like straight upward. Try to angle it a little bit to the side because, as you can see in that art right there, she does have hearts, so it's going on to those sides, and we don't want for them to like being straight and like stuck in the middle. So try to angle them right here before you curl them in. And then get your straw, which is right here. And then what you want to do is that, I know it's kind of hard to see, but that is about as high as my camera would go. Try to roll it just a little bit like that. And you should get a um, pin and secure that part right there. So it's kind of easier for you to work your way down it. And then after you're done, you would just try to roll it down like this. Rolling, rolling on the river. And there. So there we have our first roll down there. And before you secure a pin, you just get your other straw, the one it's cut in the middle for us to put it over the hair. And try to put that on top of our first roll. So right there. And then after you've done that, you secure with, with one pin like this. <clears throat> And after that, what we're going to do is that we're going to take off this little pin that we use in the first place to secure the hair because it's going to be hard to take out after the hair has been dried and set. So what you need is that uh, you can either use like a paper clip or something. For my case, I'm using this old pin that I have turned into a hook and try to take this out like this. Careful though, you don't want the hair to come out as well. So carefully take that out. And then if... A few hair does come out, don't worry, just stick them back in with your little hands. And then after that's done, we're gonna use another pin to secure it right here. And there, we have our first set of buns ready to go. Okay, so right now the most important parts are done, which are the two fringes and the bun. So the buns kind of have a little clashing here because of the length of the straws, but that's okay, don't worry, because once after we're done, once we put back the crown and the crown will nicely secure them inside so you don't need to worry about that too much the most important thing that getting them in the right position 
Now moving on to the back, as you can see, there are more crazy hair happening here. Ooh, that rhymed. Crazy hair happening here. <laughs> So I sectioned off the back of the hair into four parts. So first we have the two side parts here which we're going to focus and which is going to be eventually be the little parts right here. So we're going to do the um, uh, finger weave curls like Holly with the huge straws. And then we have the under part right here which we're going to implement some traditional curls. You know the usual curls to make the top part more volumized so we can fluff it up right there. And then finally, we have the main piece here, which we're going to do basically the same um, finger weave curl methods, but I'm going to put in a few traditional curls in there as well to make it you know, overall more volumized and more natural. So we're going to start with the sides. So we're going to start with this side right here. It's actually the same exact method as this one. It is really hard to tame, so I have to spritz a lot more than I usually do for the other ones. I just spritz a few times, but for her, I literally have to like get it really wet. Alright, as usual, get your straw, put it underneath or on top, however you want to start it. Put another one, so when we're gonna start around, right around here. Put your pins in. And finally, we're at the last part, so just use your little cut straw, and then cover and secure this last piece like this and put your pins in there but make just make sure these ones will go straight like this so we're gonna move on to the lower part of her hair first and like i said before we're just gonna go ahead and do the traditional curls which i have showed so many times in my previous videos with the standard size straws but for the sake of this video i'm just gonna show one part for those who don't know yet it's really simple, so all you need to do is just wrap the hair around the straw like this. Gosh, this video is going to be so long. I've got so much editing to do after this. And once you're done wrapping, you just put uh, a pin on top to secure it like this. Careful not to bring in the other parts of your hair. Sorry if I'm, my hand was blocking. And then if you have any excess parts at the bottom like this, just cut it off. And then also put another pin at the bottom to secure that piece. So there. So that's how you do the traditional curls. So finish all the parts here. Whee! Now on to the final part. We're almost done. Ugh, get off. So anyways, I was just looking at one of the um, pictures of her from the webisodes which shows the back of her hair. Uh, in the picture, she does have like streaks of wavy hair. And if I'm going to do the... Uh, finger weave curls with the um, straws like this I was thinking that I might not get that exact effect so in the end I just decided to give the top part the traditional curls as well but I'm, I'm gonna be using both the big ones and the small ones and I'm gonna do them alternatively Whew! we are done with her hair completely so in the end I finally ended up doing two big ones on the um, sides and two normal ones in the middle so let's look at a front so as you can see there's a lot going on so right now all we need to do is dip her hair in the hot water again for one final time to set all the curls in her hair and then we'll let it dry for overnight so we are back and I actually left her with the curlers in for like three days because I was doing another project in between in which I was painting her hands red to make them accurate like the ones in the webisode but I will be uploading that part in a separate video but I think um, the video will be coming up shortly once I upload the hair video but right now we're at the last and the most exciting part where we undo the straws and then see how her hair turns out so I'm gonna start with the waves at the front so just take your paper clip or your hooked hairpin like we did earlier to undo them and I would suggest you do them from the bottom because it's much easier that way and you just like put the hook in like slide it out just like this just do one side and one go and then we'll deal with the other side later alright so we've got our wavy part right here so just don't do anything until you're done doing all of them because we're gonna do the styling part afterwards so for the normal curls all you need to do is just take out a pin from the top and then from the bottom 
and you just slowly slide out the straw in between the hair and that's it all right so as you can see i have removed all the rest of the curlers except the two buns because i think they are the most delicate i'm really worried that they might not turn out how i want it to be so i should be really really careful but i do warn you that this part i think it might need hairspray um to protect that curl for long term um we'll need a little bit of hairspray help to keep it in shape okay guys so just try to slide out the pins and the, the first thing is remove the outer cover first be very careful we don't want to mess up the loop and the curl that the shape is in and then finally for this part I would just slide out the straw like this And after you're done spraying, try to keep it in that shape for just a, for a little while until the hair spray dries up. And after it dries, it will keep the hair in that shape. So just be patient and be careful with this part. And here is Lizzie with her completed look and I'm gonna start how I styled her with the bun because that's where we left off earlier I think um, so what I did is that after I undid the straws I put a generous amount of hairspray to keep that little poof not to fall off and then while the hairspray is still wet I put the crown in so that's what I did and the crown actually is really useful and helpful because I'm gonna show you right here because the little crown thingies here as you can see they actually protect the um, hair from falling off so um, I would say uh, quickly put the crown as quick as you can so that the hair would stay in that shape and would not fall off because there is a risk that the hair rolled inside might like fall off so I almost had that fiasco it almost turned into a flop but I served it and then I'm very happy how the buns are separated and no looks like a heart and not connected each other because that's how it's looked in the webisode though um, it looks much poofier but well we tried <laughs> and here is the back of the bun where all the rolled up pieces are staying nicely in there so I am really relieved and now moving on to her little wavy fringes I didn't do anything much it's just that I still use the crown to keep them off here so that they stay away from her face so just use the crown to separate them to the side and they just fold nicely so gorgeous so we did manage to get that little wavy look that we wanted and it's right here and I'm just loving it I just divided the huge piece in the middle and then put one lock in front and I put the other look at the back and here is the other side it looks so nice and then we finally moving on to the back where we have the traditional curls that we did which give her the little poofy volumized look that we wanted and I have to say the result looks pretty great and then I just used the uh, the tip of my comb to separate out the curls into tiny mini parts and so they would act as a foundation in making the hair looks poofier Okay, so right now after all the lovey-dovey and the celebratory part, I'm gonna talk about the thing that I'm not happy with how she turned out, and that is the bun. And the thing that I'm not happy with is the portioning of the red hair on her bun. Because as you can see in the artwork, the red part is in the middle of each bun, like this, and my doll turned out to be having all the red parts on this side, while this part rarely have any red just on the side and um, in order to avoid this I think you should um, try to separate out the parts before you even wash the hair so that after your hair wash is done you know which parts to roll back and which part goes where um, I was thinking about redoing it but um, I just love the shape of the bun already so I'm gonna let it slide but at the end of the day I am really happy with the results I'm so glad how the waves turned out and the volumized curls at the back and then what's important is that the shape of the bun is great and like the way we want it so I could let the color thing slide but you know I'm a perfectionist so I would have loved to have it even like in the pictures but 
overall I am so happy with how she turned out. Oops, and almost forgot, check out her hands too. So I am so happy with how the hands turned out as well. Um, it just gives the look, you know, a perfect Lizzie look in my opinion. And then the red gloves made her look more pop. The red is just really great and overall I can say enough that I'm happy with how she turned out. So, And I just wanted to show you guys how my desk look at the moment. <laughs> so many things to clean up afterwards. So I guess that's it from my Ever Up to High Lizzie Hearts hair restyling tutorial. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, please thumbs up and subscribe. And I'm sorry, apologize once again for not being able to make the bun exactly like in the picture. But overall, I think she looks super amazing with the gloves and her hair. Well, at least much more better than what she looked like before. <laughs> but anyways, thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to check me out on Instagram and Facebook at DisneyBoy21 for more photos. But right now, please enjoy a few photos of Lizzie. And I will see you all soon in my next video. Bye!